child health line, hotline, yes. That is available to help for you, but many do not know about it. If children are aware of the resources available to help them, then we can best know the values in Jamaica. We can have them put away incorrect values learned at school, learned at home, so that if we start with the youth, we'll increase and create a better Jamaica. I thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Clarendon. And so I move here, Miss Westmoreland. Good evening, LaShawn. From one Miss Westmoreland to another, what advice would you give to Jamaicans on how to maintain good mental health? Thank you for that question. One advice I would give to Jamaicans to maintain good mental health is take time for yourself. Do not overburden yourself with all the world has to offer. Remember, mental health matters. I thank Thank you as well, Miss Westmoreland. And now we have Miss St. Thomas. And she selected Carlene Kelly Reed. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss St. Thomas. What traits do you... do you believe society should foster in our children which may empower them to become modern citizens and why? Thank you for that question. Good evening Jamaica Yard and abroad. It is important for our children to be grown up properly and three traits that I think are key in our children growing up for them to be better citizens is one, caring. A lot of times we have become very desensitized. We don't understand what people are going through and we may not treat them well. If we teach our children how to care and treat each other well, it will also help with our society. The second trait that I believe is important is volunteerism. It's always good to give back. Like how we have this platform here to give back to our, our society through nation building. And the final trait that is of key importance Love is one of the most important characteristics that anyone should have. And I believe that if we teach our children how to love, it will lessen how we react with each other in terms of um, disputes and disputes in terms of arguments at school. It's one step that we can make to have a better Jamaica. I thank you. Thank you very Beautiful. much, Ms. St. Thomas. Beautiful. And now we have Miss Portland. And she has selected Casia Johnson Vaughan. Hi, good evening. How are you this evening? Good, thank you. Awesome. So the question I have for you is how can social media be used to promote civic pride? I'll repeat. How can social media be used to promote civic pride? Thank you for that question. Good evening, Jamaica. So with the advent of social media, we are realizing that many of our students and adults are on social media. And we can use this platform to promote civic pride by offering cultural advice, using the platform to teach our history, our music, our song, our values. Civic is a necessity in our culture today. We realize that a lot of persons don't value our culture. They don't value our heritage. So with the platforms on social media, we can use it. We can use Instagram. We can use Facebook. We can use TikTok to teach our culture for heritage, for persons to know where they are coming from so they can know where they are going. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, Miss Kingston and St. Andrew, there's only one name left, but you still got to do it. And Kamara Wright, longest reigning queen, right, Kamara? Yes, two years. Good evening, everyone. Okay, so, Bella Neek, the question is, 
why is it important for citizens to be educated on protecting the natural environment? I'll repeat. Why is it important for citizens to be educated on protecting the natural environment? Good evening, and thank you so much for that question. Our environment is a part of Jamaica's biggest assets. It is why we can boast so many natural resources, tourism, even sporting prowess as a result of our environment or athletes being able to benefit from what we have here. Therefore, I would encourage Jamaicans to become better environmental ambassadors by one, aiming to educate them. I believe education is such an important thing that we must ensure that we can launch education campaigns. We can re-implement civics in society as I believe civic pride is such an important thing when it comes on to environment. We can also aim to ensure that in addition to education, we must implement stricter penalties, improve our legislation to ensure that not only are people able to feel within themselves that they should protect the environment, but if they go against this, they should be penalized. As Jamaicans, we must highlight that we feel strongly about certain things. And personally, I feel strongly about the environment. My Jamaica land I love and I know you love must be maintained. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Miss Kingston and St. Andrew, Miss St. Thomas, Miss West Milan, Miss Clarendon. Miss, come on, let's hear it for all of our top five. Jenny, I thought they did well. I heard who got the biggest applause, but they were fantastic. And I just saw, uh, well, they always say, may the, I almost make the best man win, but let the best woman win here tonight but the judges have a have a big big job to do so good luck to them gender violence takes many forms including sexual assault domestic violence relationship abuse sexual harassment and sexual abuse of children the magnitude of ongoing violence against women and children in our country is cause for alarm we can end the violence it requires all of us to end the violence. I call on all our men and women in Jamaica to take a stand. And men especially must get involved in this movement to create a better world for their daughters, their mothers, their sisters, their aunts, their uncles, their fathers, their sons, and for themselves. Let's protect and reassure. Let's unite to end gender violence. National project, Project Help Smiles Jamaica, where I was able to provide free preventative dental health care for 590 children for the 59th year of independence when I became the queen. And I was able to exceed my target and see over 600 children right across Jamaica. For free. For free. No, look up, no, look up, no, look up, no, you hear that? For free? That's amazing. Yeah, not far for that. What about tonight? How are you feeling? I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited to give up the crown because I know I had a wonderful reign and I know that whoever wins tonight will also have a wonderful reign. You're excited to give it up. You don't want another year. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Um, it was joy, sadness, but I know that I was able to use this platform to really make a difference in the lives of so many Jamaicans. Fantastic to see. Thank you. I'm so hearted, okay. you know, you were going to win by five minutes. It was nerve wracking for me, but it was a lot different because last year we did not have an audience. So it was just us as the contestants and the judges. So some of the nerves was gone because we didn't have an audience. But um, tonight is a really good turnout. I'm very excited that so many people have turned out this year, especially for Jamaica 60. Yeah. During the competition, the best thing? in the competition was was one definitely networking with the other queens um and the personal development and professional development that we get the two weeks of training is really a lot it's very rigorous but it changes your life for the better what kind of training we get training in walk and poise speech and diction etiquette you name it we get trained 
probably should have asked this at the top. Why did you enter in the first place? Um, I get this question so often. I have been following the festival queen competition from when I was a child. My mom is actually a festival queen as yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's Carlin Kelly Reed. She won in 1991 and was the first Miss Manchester to win for Jamaica. So I went to all the competitions and I fell in love with what Festival Queen stands for. Were you pushed or you just saw that? <laughs> no, that I, I love the fact that the competition focuses on nation building and it doesn't discriminate against the ladies, not size, color, nothing. So it's a really a competition for everyone to feel like a queen. You already said it was nerve-wracking, but on the evening or the night of the coronation, um, was that the most difficult time? And, and you remember the question you got? Um, the question I got was something about entrepreneurship and how I feel that would develop Jamaica. I can't remember it exactly, but that was probably the most nerve-wracking part of the night. How did you think you answered the what kind of response you got when you said the crowd was There was no there? crowd. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I did well. Um, I just always tell myself to just do my best, and I think I really did my best on the night. Bye -bye. So, Blessings. Thank God you bless. so much. All right. well, we need some music and some well, Don't we? Don't we? Did we get a good round of applause? For our, our, our outgoing queen, she took home the crown for the parish of Manchester in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Dominic Reed, you want to hear something else? Tell me. Her mother was the first Miss Manchester. And Carleen is here. Carleen, wave. Put your hands together for Carly. Kelly is in the place. Yes. And I'm the you second. Want, you want to hear something else? Tell me. I crown Carly. I know, it's about to tell you, because you're 1990 <laughs> and Carly is 1991. Right. Jenny, we're going in on the age, the history oh, now. Yeah. We don't want to come. to the results, and it's time to crown the winners. Let us remind you of the prizes for the top three. Second runner-up will take home $200,000. Wow. First runner-up will win $350,000. And this evening's winner will walk away. This is just a cash part, six hundred thousand dollars. Have mercy, have mercy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be inviting Ava Marie Ingram, communications manager, Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, on stage. We also want Marjorie Lake Curtin, acting executive director, who will be assisting with the sashing. Yes, and the presentation. And I, the I think I think our chairman. Ready, sir. Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, our third place, second runner-up is... Come with me, Jenny. LeSean Redwood! She also won best down. Yeah. She also won best down. She looks good, though. It is a stunning girl. I got a suck in my tummy to look that good in my girl. Jenny, let's not she talk about good. that. Congratulations, her name is Isaac French. Bless you. Bless you. Congratulations, Bless you. Sashed by Mrs. Marjorie Lake Kirk, acting executive director, JCDC. It's a big moment. Why do I feel Mrs. Lake Kirk had that sash a long time ago at Miss Westman? Huh? Oh, yes. I right. think so too. It's her parish. Yes. Is that Brian? Good to see Maxine Bessensa. Put your hands together, everyone. Hello. All right. Looking beautiful on television, ladies. Yes. Now Look. for the first runner-up. That's right. We invite Mrs. Michelle Wilson-Reynolds, marketing consultant at 